I've got something really nice with me today. I've got some sweets. Now, I wish I could share them with you. And if we were face to face, of course I would. But I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to have one now. I just can't wait. I'm going to have one now. And I don't know which one I'm going to choose because they're all so lovely. Oh. There's a bit of a problem. It's empty. Whenever we come to a tin of sweets and it's empty, it's not good news. On the screen, you'll see a picture of my cat. This is Mac. He's a big cat with a very small meow. But whenever he makes the most noise, it's whenever he comes to tell us that his food dish is empty. When he sees that his dish is empty, it's not good news. Whenever I get into my car and there's a little noise that tells me that my petrol tank is nearly empty, it's not good news. But in today's story, empty is the best news ever. When Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb that was a bit like a cave and a huge stone was rolled across the entrance to the tomb. Now the leaders were afraid that Jesus' disciples were going to steal his body, so they had someone stand guard at the entrance to the tomb. But Jesus' friends weren't going to steal his body. They were so, so sad that their king had died and they were afraid of what was going to happen to them now. They would have had lots of questions. Wasn't Jesus God's forever king and now he has died? What is going on? Maybe they thought that they would be sad forever. On the third day after Jesus had died, Mary Magdalene and some other women went to visit the tomb very early in the morning. When they got closer, they saw something very unusual. The huge stone had been rolled away from the entrance to the tomb. A guard outside the tomb couldn't stop God's plan. There had been an earthquake and an angel had come down and rolled the stone away from the entrance to the tomb. The tomb was empty. The angel said to the woman, don't be afraid. Why are you here? Tombs are for dead people. Jesus is alive. The women couldn't believe what they were seeing and hearing. Could it be true? Many of them hurried off, but Mary stayed there. She just didn't know what to think. What was going on? Could it be true? She heard someone else in the garden and thought, that must be the gardener. Maybe he will know what has happened. So she asked him, do you know what has happened? I can't find Jesus. Do you know where he is? And the gardener said one word. He said, Mary. And when he said her name, Mary knew exactly who it was. It was Jesus. Jesus was alive again. Mary just couldn't believe it, but she wasn't dreaming. She wanted to hold on to Jesus and never let him go. But he said to her, go and tell the others that I am alive. When Jesus rose from the dead, he showed that he has defeated sin and death forever. He is stronger than sin and death. So what does it mean for us that the tomb is empty? It means that you can have your sin forgiven. When Jesus died on the cross, he took the punishment for my sin and your sin. And if you're sorry for the wrong things that you've thought and said and done that break God's law and ask him to forgive you, he will. Jesus is the only one who has never sinned. He has a perfect record. And if you ask God to forgive your sin, that perfect record that belongs to Jesus, it will be transferred to you. Now that's sometimes difficult for us to understand. It's a bit like having a test in school with loads and loads and loads of things wrong and it's just torn up 
and thrown away and instead you're given this one this one with full marks the perfect record of Jesus will be transferred to you you can be friends with God and you can know that someday you have a home in heaven with him forever I know that lots of you have already trusted Jesus to forgive your sin and you're already living for him remember that you can talk to him no matter where you are or no matter what you're doing he will always hear and he will always answer remember that he has promised that he'll never ever leave you following Jesus isn't easy following Jesus is something that's too difficult for us to do all by ourselves and that's why God sent a special helper called the Holy Spirit to help us to live for him and in a few weeks time we're going to be thinking about that very special helper that God has sent there will of course be days when you feel sad there will be days when you're scared days when you're worried remember the tomb is empty Jesus is alive he's alive today in heaven preparing a place for all those who have trusted in him to forgive their sin and one day he's coming back again he's coming back again to make all things new all of those sad things will be gone forever he's coming back again to take all those who have trusted him to be with him in heaven forever what amazing news the tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. That is the best news that you will ever hear. Now we need to update those posters for the last couple of episodes. So we're going to draw the cross and then we're going to draw the tomb with the stone rolled away.